here we are under the hood now. Uh, yeah, I was using a Snuggie. I don't know if you know what a Snuggie is, but um, it's like a uh, it's a blanket that you wear, kind of, with two arms in it. Um, it's in a trunk, and I, I used that for a long time. Well, I used that again last night. But they've learned to crawl up underneath it, and so um, there was a lot of droppings right here. That's where they that's where they generally uh, uh, hang out at and eat on this wire. This used to look like uh, this right here a couple of days ago, and look what they've done. That's it's in the last day or two. I haven't checked in two days. So I don't know if it was a day or two days, but pretty fast. Look how much they've eaten off of that. And there's arcing there, so I'm not driving that until I replace it. It's gonna cost like 40 bucks to get a NGK or a Denso. I got about two wires, so uh, yeah, I'm not real happy with the, what they're doing. I've got a little trap over here. This is like a humane trap. Ah, peanut butter in it. And they set that off. But they didn't go in there. Uh, there's some droppings, I think. It may be a chipmunk, I don't know. Um, I, I have to look closer at him. It's really cold here tonight, so it's getting dark too. So I'm gonna do phase one of this. And phase one is just going to be these glue traps. I got two of them here I'm going to use tonight and we're going to use the bait pellets so what I'm just going to do is sprinkle some bait pellets around here because that's where they hang out at and then these traps I'm going to set those like probably right here for one the other one like right here probably they're coming up through the wheel well and then they're I'm guessing they're leaping up here so maybe we'll put one there put one there I'll put some bait here, uh, this uh, bait pellets, and I'll show you what it, that's going to look like. Uh, they don't hang; they don't really do anything to the battery terminal, so that's that's good. So uh, it's just right here on this uh, on this plug wire. So anyway, let me just put this out. I get right back. So what's important is make sure that the bait pellets are for outdoor use, and these are. Um, now I haven't read the instructions on this stuff. It's it's getting dark here, so we we've got these traps here, sticky traps, and then I put the bait here and I clumped it together because what I want to see if this stuff is spread out uh, come tomorrow. I'm not even going to put any of the, of the mint uh, stuff that I bought. I'm not going to put that down. I'm probably not going to put any traps down because it's just so cold out here tonight. Um, and I'll probably do that. Let's call that like phase two. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with this. We'll check on this tomorrow. Uh, now, if I finally get rid of these guys, like you know, if if that bait is eaten, and uh, um, that may take a couple of nights before they actually starts working on them. But uh, if I see signs that I get rid of them, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that mint stuff that I bought probably uh, later. So uh, yeah, I'll check back in another day or so. All right, here we are the next day. Really cold today, uh, 20 degrees or something like that. I'm gonna check together and see what we've got. Remember I put those two glue traps out, I put some bait. Didn't use any men oil. Check. Oh man, check it out, check it out. All right, let me get my uh, hood prop here. So they didn't get on the glue traps. They ate all the bait, which is a good thing. I don't think they ate any more of this wire. Yeah, maybe, it looks like they ate, I'm not sure. But look at the droppings. Uh, those are big round droppings. I'm not sure if that's rats or mice. I'll have to I'll have to uh, to look further into that. I'd say it's rats. That's probably too big for a mouse. Um, yeah, they didn't touch the glue trap. So, all right, let's put some more bait out. Let's blow this off. 
So here we are with the pellets out. We know they like them. That's a real positive thing. Um, hopefully they'll eat this batch here that I put out. Put out a little more this time. Got the glue traps on each side. They've been able to avoid the glue traps. Obviously, they're pretty smart. Uh, now this will take a while before it actually kills them if they continue to come back and eat this stuff. Uh, it could take maybe even a week um, before they actually die. Um, now there is, um, I think this stuff contains the ingredient where I'm not sure what what that is but uh if you're interested you can check out all of this and you should read all the directions before using this but uh I think it expands their their uh, intestines their bowels uh, to a degree to where they can't uh, really eat anymore um, it's not a very pleasant thing but uh you know when you can't use your car you can't create an income um, it's too bad we have to resort to this but anyway I'll check back I've got my two wires ordered $22 for Denzo's pretty happy about that it's gonna take a while so I'm not gonna be able to use the car uh, unless it's some kind of emergency because I just don't feel comfortable driving it with it that you know the wires it's four cylinder but I don't think it's gonna run with three cylinders if that goes bad so anyway, uh, I'll check back with an update soon. Here we are now mov moving on to phase two. Just came across this rat trap. It's a huge rat trap by Victor. Uh, wasn't looking for this at all. Just happened to come across it. So um, we'll definitely um, put this into force and uh, maybe we can get rid of these rats or rat faster uh, with this than the pellets. So uh, I'll be putting this out when I get home or uh, this evening. Here it is out of the packaging. Here's the original rat trap by Victor. Here's the attractant gel that I picked up yesterday. So we'll be putting the gel on the uh, this little pedal right here. Let's go ahead and try it out real quick before we put it outside. Very careful. Um, this would be very painful if it's uh, where to snap on your finger or hand. All right, so I'll be putting the attractant like right here on this pedal, um, just kind of about a, a racer size, probably underneath there, so it's hard for them to get to. Uh, once they come up here, don't want to get your, you don't want to get your fingers anywhere around here. Um, and once they get that bait, they'll push the pedal down. Look at that. That's got some force right there. Uh, so anyway, let's go outside. And uh, I'll go ahead and load it first and walk it out there. It's so cold out there. I want to do everything inside that I can so uh, yeah let me get it set up I put like I said a racer size amount of this on the pedal and then we'll go set it all right it doesn't really smell bad or good I've never smelled anything like it it's not a chemical smell though anyway hopefully they'll like it okay so here we go we're gonna now we don't have it set pull back we don't have the keel bar pull back About that. All right now, I'll set it. I'm gonna do this off camera. All right, we're gonna move the humane trap away. That hasn't that hasn't been very successful at all. We'll let it put it right up against the tire like that. All right, here we are, day three. Trap did not go off, still set. Looks like they almost, looks like they might have nibbled on the attractant a little bit. Um, hope it doesn't get hard. I, I probably still would eat it. All right, let's see what they've done here, if anything. All right, glue traps haven't been touched. 
bait is gone let me uh, prop the hood up here we are got some more fresh bait out uh, this is day three so uh, we'll check back tomorrow and see uh, see what happens all right got it up so I have an update now day four um, I already know what's happening uh, so we're going to pop the hood for the first time and see what happened underneath grass not whoa all right one just started off all right I'm a little uh you probably didn't see that a little surprised okay so we did get the rodent and it was a rat and that's why I didn't expect anything really to be happening here because uh, I've already saw it and I'm really not happy about it it's it's not it's not a yeah it's not a happy thing uh, maybe maybe when I was young or something it would be it would be exciting but we caught the rat I put some more attracted into the Victor trap and he's a pretty big guy or girl um, it slammed him right on his head so I'm sure that he didn't live it was probably an immediate death here here is a look at the tail look how long look how long that tail is he's a big old girl. I just showed him so anyway I'm going to dispose of him and I know why he didn't. So originally I wanted to put it, try to get him in this humane trap here, but uh, he just was too big to get in there and get that peanut butter. So I did try. Uh, so anyway, what I'll do, and as I was opening the hood, I just saw something dart off. It was uh, either one of his buddies or it might have been a. It was it was a mouse. I think. Pretty sure. Or a rat it looked like a mouse to me it looked smaller it might have been one of his buddies uh, or something i don't know but anyway um i'm probably going to leave this because i'm still waiting on some wires but let me show you what i'm going to do um, after all this is cleaned up uh, the whole idea is to leave it until it's to leave it and let them continue to eat it until it's not there until they until it continues to stay there that shows that they're you know they've left they're not coming back they're dying or dead or whatever um so that was that was the game plan um so i will leave it because i'm waiting for my wires i can't drive this for a few more days anyway um and i'll continue to put the pellets there until they stay there that's the whole point i guess i'm trying to make let me show you what i'll do after all that's gone and i'm going to uh use these packs of uh rodent natural rodent repeller packs uh yeah in the future i'll be using these gives off a scent huge scent of uh of mint peppermint i guess you gotta really close this bag up it says that they'll last 30 days uh, i'm not sure about that now i was using before any of this stuff before anything i was using peppermint oil and I was making my own uh, following the instructions about I think it was like five milliliters per ounce so I was putting like 12 millimeter 12 milliliters in here I sprayed my engine compartment every day if I missed a day then they were going to come back because the oil that I my concoction with oil it dissipated very fast it didn't even last a day so I'm hoping those little packets will last at least at least half as long as they say they do you know hopefully they'll last like 15 days anyway um that's what i'm going to start doing keep uh, rodents away hope it's been helpful um until next time have a nice day take care